The difference between the way I raise pigs and the way they're raised in most of the United States is that we have the pigs outside, rooting in the dirt, grazing on the grass, sort of doing their pig thing. But most of the farms in the United States, they're in a barn. I'm Mike Gezzi. I'm the farmer owner here at Flying Pigs Farm. We're in southern Washington County, New York. So one of the things that's different about our pig farm is we raise rare heritage breed pigs. A heritage breed pig is a breed of pig that was around 150 years ago. And the rare refers to how many there are. There's only about uh, worldwide populations of between two and 5,000 of the breeds that I'm raising here. These are varieties of pigs that haven't had all the fat bred out of them in the sort of industrial model of agriculture that's predominant in the United States. Fat pork has been losing in popularity. Quality today means lean pork, a hog that will yield a lot of lean meat and relatively little fat. Back in the 70s, there became a nutrition trend to get fat out of the diet. Fat was the enemy. It wasn't salt or sugar. It was fat. Pigs became leaner and leaner. So the pigs I raise fell out of favor because they weren't the, the leaner of the pigs. As the pigs got leaner, the, the pendulum swung too far to the point where it was tough to cook them and have them still be moist. Our pigs have you know, an inch to four inches of back fat, depending on the breed. One of the best compliments I get is when somebody comes and says, this reminds me of pork when I was a kid or from my grandparents' farm. One of the great things about raising pigs is they're, they're very playful. As you get to know them, some of them will uh, come over. They'll start rubbing up against you. They'll want to be scratched behind the ears. They'll flop over. As they're maturing, they're, they can be very entertaining. I say I work, I'm working 12 hours a day so that they're happy. 